Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me for Coffee and the Word, that time each day that we examine a part of God's Word, and then we apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So, like always, grab that cup and let's get going. We're going to continue our thoughts on wisdom and from the book of Proverbs with Tim Keller. Proverbs 19, verse 23 said, The fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rests content, untouched by trouble. Let's talk about resting in God. Those who fear God find God satisfying, and they are contented. The second phrase literally says that they spend the night content, meaning that God is like a haven for the storm tossed. How is it possible to live life untouched by trouble? This does not say that we will not have trouble, only that it will not overthrow our contentment. Trouble can take away take anything away from you except God. Therefore, if God is to you a greater safety, a deeper security, a more powerful hope than anything else in the world, you fear no trouble. Depending on God in trouble is a spiritual skill that can be learned only in trouble. Difficulties take away earthly comforts and then through prayer and reflection on the word, we are driven closer to God to get his unique consolations. The process is long and in many parts painful, but the fruit is a spiritual poise that no trouble can dislodge. Jesus promises it to all his disciples. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 30. Think of the last time you went through a really difficult season in your life. Did it strengthen or did it weaken your intimacy with God? Are you more ready for trouble or less? Lord, it was St. Augustine who said that our hearts are restless until they find rest in you. But I freely confess that though I believe in you, I'm often discontent. Let your attributes, love, patience, power, justice, mercy, be not abstractions, but comforts to me. By your Spirit, make yourself real to my heart. Amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.